Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we are doing some nails. Um, on my nails, I currently have this color is uh, Color Club and it is called So Fetch. I love this color, it's such a pretty color. And I noticed I was playing with Daisy and Pedro and I kind of smudged this one. So, but that's okay because we're going to do some reverse stamping and I'm going to cover it up. So, um, I'm going to do my images first and then we will reverse stamp them. So, um, I bought a light pad because um, I've been doing diamond art painting and I also thought it would be a great idea to use it for reverse stamping. And I haven't done that as of yet, but one of my subscribers, Nora, um, she asked me about um, a light pad and whether it would be easier um, to um, use a light pad for reverse stamping. And I said, I don't know, I'm hoping it does. And I said that I've wanted to do this, um, do it for a while. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm just going to start doing some images. And I'm going to do, I was going to do, do one image, but you know what? I'm going to do a few different ones. So... Forgot to grab my cotton claw. So this is my cotton claw in case um, I've, I've had this thing for like since I started stamping. So it's probably like five, six years old. I got it originally from Sally's Beauty. I don't know if they carry it anymore. To be honest, I haven't been to a Sally's um, since before COVID. So it's been a while. And... Um, but if they don't have it, Lantern and Wren, um, I know that they carry a um, cotton claw as well. I've had a few people ask me about it lately, so I figured I would say something about it. So there's image number two. So let's see if we can. So yeah, I'm just I'm gonna do a different flower on every nail. And that way I kind of get a feel for images. And then plus I get to play with my plate. So there's that one. So. And I guess I'll do this one. I think I'm running out of stamping polish. So just go through and let's do this guy. So that should be five now. And there we go. So I made sure when I was going through for stampers, I went and got ones that have open backs. So hang on one sec. Okay, um, I did forget to tell you that the stamping plate is BP-A03 in Blossom. So I've had this stamping plate for quite some time. So it's all flowers, it's very pretty. Okay. I figure I better tell you that while I still remember. Okay, so let's get to it. So this, um, the, do, do, do. the light pad I have, it's an air dot. And the one that, oh, crap. Okay. It rolled over. I thought I wrecked it. Um, the one I have is an A3 size. It's like 
pretty big, um, but you can get smaller ones, and I think there's a bigger one that is like an A2. So it's up to you what size you want to get. Now that's probably going to blind you. I don't know how this is going to work, if you're going to get blinded or or what. Cause, so the, the light pad... Um, it has to be, the one I have has to be plugged in at all times. Otherwise it doesn't work. It doesn't have a battery pack. So you have three settings. You have light, um, like there's like three. So that's low, medium, and high. So, ooh, a, so there's it not on. So on and on. Actually, that really does help. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of move it over so you're not totally blinded. And so I have my tin foil and I got a little paintbrush. I've got some acetone ready and a little piece of paper towel. So let's start. So, it's a little more difficult um, filming and doing this, but I figured I wanted to try and see if it did make a difference. And hopefully I'm in frame. See, if I wasn't filming, it'd probably be not as awkward. Because I'm trying to keep this in space of where you guys can see it. And then I can see it. But... It's, it definitely brightens it up for me. So it's a little different because I've got my other lights on. So I'm not sure if I like it better <laughs> or not. So let me get some other colors. It's pink. light pink so I'll probably just do one on camera live as we're talking and then I'll probably um, fast forward because I don't think you want to watch me do this the whole time So with the roses, I always kind of, I pick two colors and I kind of um, go around and just do random areas. That way I kind of get um, more of a, um, okay. Oh, and another thing with the light pad is if you touch the button um, it'll turn turn it off and on on you so I just did that I made it brighter with my elbow so and I just smeared that so don't touch the the stamp stamper with your brush because then it smears not that bad so I can probably get away with it so just kind of float the image or the the brush over and just move the polish don't touch So if you're just buying um, a light pad, 
for stamping. I would suggest getting a smaller one. Uh, don't get a giant one like I did. I Mine's multi-purpose because I use it for my diamond painting as well. So uh, for me, the bigger one. And they're fairly inexpensive. I can't remember how much I paid for mine. Um, it uh, And mine, mine actually came with a bunch of um, uh, diamond painting goodies. So, um, oh, see, I pushed, the <laughs> I pushed the button again. So when I'm diamond painting, I actually push the button to the top. I have it upside down. That way I don't accidentally keep turning my light pad off and on. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it came with a bunch of goodies as well so which was kind of cool i got um I, I can't reach everything right now but um i got some items that i use so it for me it was very practical but if you're just going to do it for reverse stamping i would suggest getting a small one and then that way um you uh don't have to have like this big giant one unless you're doing a whole bunch of <laughs> stampers all at the same time and you want to line them up but um, I can hear my husband singing Some more green. So I have some more leaves, I realized. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is in a few minutes, oh, I'm just going to kind of go on and do my, my stampers. Um, and then I'm going to kind of test it to see whether um, it's not as awkward for me if I move my desk a little bit. Because I want to give you the full, oops, <laughs> my full opinion on whether this really helps or not. I think I got mostly everything. So, I don't know. I don't know whether it helps you see. So, yeah, actually it does let me see everything really well. So, kind of liking it. just when it's flat it's a little awkward because um oops uh, tulip um because i'm filming i can't kind of lean it towards me oops and i keep doing that <laughs> And especially if you have, if your room, you don't have a lot of light, I think this would definitely help too. The little dots though are a little, they get magnified. I don't know if you can see because the, the light pad has little dots and they kind of get magnified. If I look through the stamper at certain angles it's kind of funny oops I 
and there you go again. <laughs> it's kind of messy, but that's okay. I'm going to do some red tulips. So other than the fact that I keep um, turning it off and on, doing a little pink butterfly, and I think Just kind of going over the green spots to see if I if I missed any spots then maybe some of the light colors will shine through just to kind of give it some depth So I'm just going to finish up this one and then um, I'm going to paint all the other ones off camera and then come back and we'll uh, wanna go over the, the light pad with you guys. But yeah, if I'm tilting it up, it definitely helps. Um, the dots kind of um, on the light pad are a little distracting, but it's not, it's not that bad. Because I do have to wear, um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. So you probably get a little bit of distortion on the camera. Um, I do wear glasses for seeing up close, you know, getting older now. Gotta, gotta do that. So purple, let's do, 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 do. trying to come up with different colors to do for my flowers. Okay, hang on one sec. Okay, so I'm back. I just put on uh, Pro FX Sticky Base Coat. Um, this one's not available any longer. I used to get it at Walmart. Um, but I know Maniology carries a Sticky Base Coat. You can use Orly Bonder, um, you know, and, or a clear coat and then make sure it's just tacky. Okay, so I've got all my stampers all, all done. So now we should apply them. So now I gotta figure out which ones I'm gonna do on what nails. So I think I'm gonna do this big one on my thumb. I'll do Index, middle, baby, ring. <laughs> I don't know. Figure well, that's what I'll try. Okay. So, this one I definitely won't be able to fit much of the image on, but that's okay. So, I'm just going to go through and apply them all. Now, um, as far as the light pad goes um it's not bad um i just found the dots on it kind of bugged me a little bit um they just seemed to get kind of get amplified by the stamper and i don't know it's if it's because i had more uh, lights on but uh, I'm kind of so-so on having 
Oops. See, I didn't quite get a lot of them on there, but that's okay. So we'll just put that on. So if you're going to get one, I would probably make sure you, you got a smaller one because you don't need one that big. Unless you're going to diamond paint, then, then go big. <laughs> Or go medium at least. Um, but if you're just going to buy it for just reverse stamping, um, you know, I don't know. I'm kind of 50-50 on it. Like, I don't want, I don't want to say, yay, it's the, the greatest thing ever. Like, I don't know what I'm doing here right now. Um, it was okay. It worked, but I'm... Yeah. The heck? Train? Or. That was weird. Never heard a big horn like that. I guess it was like a big truck or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm not total a hundred percent sold on the light pad for reverse stamping. Um, it was okay. So it, it does make things brighter. Um, but the, um, the little, um, the little dots kind of bugged me a little bit. So I don't know if all the light pads have that or not. So, cause this is the only one I have, right? So. But, um, so, 1 to 10, I'd probably give it a 7. So, so anyway, that, that's, that's my opinion on the light pad. <laughs> so, I want you guys to know, like, I, I'm, you know, like, I'm honest. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. So, that's, that's it. Okay, I'm going to finish cleaning up. So, I just kind of cut off all the dry stuff. Because um, it sat long enough that it, um, it just flakes off. And then, whenever it's on my skin like this, I'll, um, I'll get a piece of tape. And the stuff at the ends, I will use my scissors. I kind of push down. And then I will cut off the excess. And then... It's kind of pretty. So yeah, I'm just gonna break off and then like for the stuff that stuck on I just take a piece of tape and that works. I really like this one. And this one what I did was I put red, pink, and white, and I just kind of did a, a slight swirl. And it gave me a cool um, kind of effect for the flowers. So I really liked it. So. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm going to use my smudge free top coat. Uh, just because I did all that work for them and I don't want them to. So this one, I added some purple and I added some shimmer to it. Oh, it looks so pretty. I'm going to have to do a full set like that. I really like that. So, and then once this dry, I'm going to go in with my SC Speed Setter Top Coat. And then I'm going to go in and find, just notice I've, I need to do some more cleanup on my nails. 
But yeah, there. I think it's kind of pretty. It's kind of funky. All the different flowers. I love flowers. So we have quite a few in our garden. And um, yeah. So thanks for hanging out with me while I test uh, reverse stamping with my light board. And like I said, I kind of I give it a 7 out of 10. Um, I don't know if it was just awkward because I'm trying to film and trying to use it but um, the, the dots did kind of distract me a little bit so um, oops but I just wanted to kind of you know give you my honest opinion on it um, so um, if you don't need to buy it then you don't really need you know but if you want the extra light and you're going to use it you know, I mean, it's good for other things like you can do paintings with it, diamond paintings, you can do coloring with it. So it's not, you know, um, it's not a waste of money. So, but um, yeah. Hey there. Okay, so I had a thought at 6 a.m. this morning before I got out of bed um, in regards to my light pad. Now, I'm going to turn it on. Now, uh, So you see how it has all the dots and when you're looking at it it really reflects it but I thought about it if you put the paper there you don't get all the dots so plain white piece of paper and then your stamper and then it I mean it lights it up really well versus that like look at how hard that is and then doing that. So plus two, if you put a white piece of paper down, you protect your light pad. So if you accidentally get some paint on it, it won't ruin it. So putting a white piece of paper on it, the light pad is a 10 out of 10. I don't know. I just thought about it in the middle. Of, you know, I was getting, uh, my alarm had just got off, gone off and I was going to, get up for work this morning and I'm like oh so super glad I thought of this so I figured I better share it okay um yay okay bye anyway uh so stay tuned I will have some swatch photos uh for you at the end and of course puppies um so yeah I hope you guys are doing well and you are staying safe okay love you guys and remember be someone sparkle. Bounce like your top on two feet, all the way bouncing off of them, bouncing by. Now losing her balance.